So to figure out whether HNO2 is polar or nonpolar, we're going to look first at the Lewis structure. And when we look at the Lewis structure, we can see right away it's not symmetrical. We have the OH over on this side here, and then we have a double bonded oxygen on this side. Since the HNO2 molecule isn't symmetrical, we're thinking that it might be a polar molecule. When we look at the electronegativities of the atoms, we can see that the hydrogen is going to be a little positive compared to the oxygen on the other side. So now we have a positive and a negative side that gives us poles. We have poles, we're thinking polar. But we should really look at the molecular geometry to make sure that this is a polar molecule. So here's the HNO2 molecule, and you can see we have the oxygens are red, and then the hydrogen is white, nitrogen's blue, and you can see those lone pair electrons there. So we have, again, a lack of symmetry, and then on one side, fairly electronegative oxygen, on the other, the hydrogen is fairly positive. What we can do is look at the surface, the electrostatic potential of the molecule, to see which side is positive and which side is negative. So here, the mesh around the molecule, you have the blue, that's negative, and the red, that's more positive. So you see there really are two poles, a positive and a negative. So that makes HNO2 a polar molecule. So that's the polarity for HNO2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.